video this week which I'm very proud of myself to have now posted a third video this week when I normally fall off of things. Um, I am super excited to be doing today's video because even though I'm not fully finished slash like overly confident about my um, vinyl and record player setup, I thought that I would still show you because why delay something for a super long time and I just really need to put a video out, you know, keep the consistency going and maybe y'all can give me some ideas as well <laughs> um, for the stuff that I'm trying to finish. So I'm just going to show you my little record player corner which it's like two corners of my den so just to give you some context I live in a two bedroom apartment with a den and a den it's like half a bedroom so it's not like a full bedroom um but it's just enough like just big enough to put you know a whole bunch of stuff in it and fill it up so this is in my den area which is right next to my living room so I'm gonna start this video off by going showing you a whole overview and trying to get as specific as possible for all the things that I got. This probably won't take a super long time because it's a really small area, but it should be exciting because we love music and we love listening to music. So here is my little corner where I love to relax and just chill out. I'm actually sitting where I usually sit when I listen to records and it's just honestly one of my favorite parts of my apartment and I just wanted it to be as fun and my style as possible because I just wanted to only associate like a really good time with it. So let's get into this video. Guys, that the lighting is kind of like meh because of the window, but this is a full overview of my record corner. To the left is like my gaming setup, but all of this wall is all dedicated to <laughs> listening to records so I'm gonna start off over here and so I have a clock up there which is like very reflective um, it's like holographic and it really gives me like endless vibes so I thought it was perfect to go up there I think it's broken <laughs> because it's definitely not at the right time that we have this really large um, like beanbag chair but it's more structured than your average beanbag chair. It's got like little panels. I have a little pillow on it, so sometimes I take it off though because Shallow will sit up there or she'll sit up there with me. Weirdly, we can both fit. It's actually super huge, but it fits perfectly right in the corner and I really wanted a comfortable spot where I could just honestly kick back and put a record on and just call it a day, you know? I definitely shouldn't have kept the window open, but we're already this far into the video that I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it. But anyways, I got this, um, oh, I didn't even tell you. I got this clock from Urban Outfitters. I also got this, um, I got this beanbag chair from Urban Outfitters. I don't remember where I got the pillow, but I wouldn't really recommend it. I don't know why I got it. I think it's ugly and it doesn't match anything, but there it is, it's there. <laughs> I'm gonna pan and show you my whole record player corner, and we'll start off with the stuff that's on the walls. So right here, I have framed a Boys Don't Cry um, covering that's for the magazine. It's like, what the magazine comes in and I really like the way it looks the style so I decided to frame it and put it on this wall though I'm not sure if I might move it because I have another poster to hang up but I do think it looks really good right there 
By the way, a little mini plug for you right now is I actually have a video on my channel where I'm giving away a Frank Ocean uh, Boys Don't Cry magazine. So I'm gonna like post it right here and you know, go enter because you could win a Boys Don't Cry magazine and that's like super rare for the internet. <laughs> so yeah. So that's my first poster that I have here on the wall and then right next to it, right above my whole setup, which I love the way this looks. This is exactly how I envisioned it when I got this poster and frame. Um, oh, by the way, I got, I don't shop at Amazon anymore, but I got this frame for my Boys Don't Cry magazine from Amazon and same with this frame from Amazon. And this is one of the Endless posters, which I have a whole video on me unboxing all my Endless merch. And like I said, frame from Amazon. Then right here, I actually have, <laughs> it's a Frisbee that says, you know, the Great Wang of Flognaw Land. And I actually got that at Camp Flognaw last year. Um, and I don't know, I just thought it fit perfectly to fill up a little bit more space right there. And it's kind of related to the like odd future you know, I think it looks fine, like it just kind of goes with the theme. Right there in the corner is that extra um, endless magazine that I'm giving away, so make sure that you go and <laughs> check it out um, so that you can enter and possibly win. Oh, I just wanted to give like, sit down and give a quick view. This entire record player stand is from Urban Outfitters. I shop there way too much. I wish that I didn't. Um, and then I already have a record sitting up right there. But down here is where I keep, down here is where I keep all of my magazines. Um, so I'll just kind of go through, I have three Boys Don't Cry magazines. I have two ID magazines. I have a GQ magazine, Golf Wang magazine that they put out a really long time ago. Um, this is an ID, this is, what is it? Yeah, 032C. And then right here, I have the Endless CD and DVD and the VHS. And then right here in the corner, I keep a bunch of um, CDs. So I have um, SZA, Cherry Bomb, Nerd, In Search Of, Scumfuck Flower Boy, Everything Is Love by Beyonce and Jay-Z, The Carters, and The Blonde um, CD. And then I have a little cassette from Scumfuck Flower Boy. And there's um, things right here because there's actually a shelf that I have hidden under here, but I didn't want to put the shelf up, obviously, because this is where all my vinyl goes. And so this is a really interesting part of the video where I'm wondering what I should do next because clearly I'm already filling up a lot of space with the vinyls. Um, and... I also really like the way that all of my magazines look right here, so I'm thinking about maybe transitioning this to a new space or something like that um, so that I can fill up more vinyl. I'm not going to go through every vinyl I have. I think that's for another video, but as you can see, this is where all my vinyl is. And then this part is really not as exciting and where I mean that I'm like not finished with my setup, but <laughs> I just want to be you know, putting out a video so I'm not gonna get super anal and Virgo about it like I can. <laughs> and also the door is broken, which is really unfortunate. I tried to fix it. Um, but in here, I just have a bunch of random shit like these cords and some stuff from my ex-boyfriend and just like stuff that came with my record players, some like, advertisements or whatever so this is super not exciting and this is where I was thinking I could put my magazine stuff but I don't like that it's closed like I like the way that this is on display you know what I mean okay now this is the really exciting part where we get to you know talk about the actual record player setup and everything and so I wanted to start with the speakers okay so I didn't want to fuck this up for you guys but I specifically looked up which speakers I have and I highly doubt I'm going to be able to memorize this but these are the Kanto YU4 powered bookshelf speakers in white and they are Bluetooth so they're specifically the Bluetooth ones because they have speakers like this that aren't Bluetooth 
Those are not the ones that I have. I have the Bluetooth ones. Yeah, so these are my speakers. I have two of them. And what I, I was wondering if you guys would be interested in me making a video kind of reviewing these speakers, talking about my experience with them, what I like about them, you know, maybe the downsides of them and stuff like that. I would love to make that video, um, but I think they look really great and match my setup super well. And then they also come with a little remote, which you've probably seen in some of my videos. Um, and that's probably my favorite part about them is how easy it is to use with this little remote, but I also keep that right here on my stand so I don't lose it. Like I was telling you, I already have a vinyl out that I was listening to. This is Doris by Earl Sweatshirt. I really wish that I did a vinyl review on it, but to be honest, <laughs> I left this vinyl like an idiot in the back of my car. Um, which is so dangerous and bad for a record and I thought it was going to be broken and I didn't want to film a video where it's like a fucked up vinyl and I was going to be super disappointed. But anyways, um, so I have the Audio-Technica LP3, which I think looks super great, matches my speakers really well, I think it looks really well with all the wood and everything like that. Um, and I have a whole video talking about me unboxing this for the first time and setting it up and my first impressions. So if you would like to see that video, that will also be linked. But there you go, this is my full record area setup. Um, again, like I said, one of my favorite spots to hang out in my apartment. And I'm really glad I got to share that with y'all. Okay, everybody, that's all I have for today's video. And I really hope that you enjoyed watching it and getting an idea of, you know, what my setup looks like. Um, so the things that I would kind of love if you could give me input on is um, how I should set my speakers up because I know it's kind of dangerous to have them on the same surface as the record player. I'm thinking about getting little, little foam mats to put underneath it underneath my speakers so that they absorb the vibrations from the speaker so it doesn't translate to the record player when it's playing. And then I would also like to know um, maybe some tips on what I should do with like my magazine setup. Um, I have a little space behind me to maybe put something like, I have another old record player stand that I can maybe set up for just my magazines. Um, but I don't know if that will look really good. So, you know, just give me some tips, some thoughts on what I should do next to improve my setup. Um, if you have any questions about the stuff that I showed you, um, or if you have any video recommendation ideas related to music or just stuff that I can put on my channel, I would love to hear your recs. So, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget that I do have a giveaway posted right now on my channel. So go check out that video and enter because I would love for you to get the opportunity, you know, to win an endless mag if it's something that you've never had. Um, so again, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next video.